Hello, everybody. Tis me again, the smelly welly one. Your favorite cartoon cat on the internet. I know you have lots of choices in cartoon cat. You've made a mistake choosing me, but we're here. We're going to talk about Cocaine Bear. Yes, I know. It's a real film. As stupid as as existing is, it's a real movie. I've seen it in a theater. I paid money for this. I'm going to tell you about it. Because I gotta tell somebody about it, so they, so it will be, it won't disappear like a dream. When I won't have imagined I saw it. Is it? So, Cocaine Bear, long tradition of animal attack movies, Jaws, Cujo, Deep Blue Sea, I suppose. This one has a very direct predecessor, Snakes on a Plane, which came from the pre-internet meme days, which. Honestly, the fact it was a, it got made and became a thing just on its title alone shows the power that title had. It was the title was "Snakes on a Plane." That's just mwah, perfect. That's exactly what's going to happen. What you're in for? Good friend, make money. That one's not that good though. It's kind of it doesn't live up to that premise. There are snakes. They are on a plane, and you have Samuel L. Jackson say "fuck" one time. Not enough to say to make the movie good. It's just kind of there. It's kind of boring. Unfortunately, Cocaine Bear, very much the same mold. It's better than Snakes on a Plane, mostly because it's R-rated. Snakes on a Plane made a mistake of going for PG-13. Cocaine Bear don't play that. Cocaine Bear is an R. People are getting eaten, ripped apart, smashed out of ambulances, ejected from ambulances, eaten. Someone gets their guts ripped out and their guts are played with by baby cocaine bears. Everyone has a great time. Everything involving the cocaine bear, or bears actually, great, fun, good. I got what I wanted. Everything else in the movie, eh, kind of boring, honestly. Like, it's not bad, but it's very generic and does not live up to the premise, to the title, the majesty of it calling your film Cocaine Bear. No, it's all generic. Blech. You got missing shot, missing, pr- missing scamp of a child, and another kid hanging around. It's kind of meant to be quirky. He just seems stupid. Then you have drug dealer plot. Okay, they're not nasty enough or mean enough to be funny. There's kind of, one's just sad, and it's played by the guy who was who was the new Han Solo in Solo a few years ago. Yeah, you forgot they tried, they did that, huh? Everyone else did too. Oh, I'm, dude, I am. Oof. You went from Star Wars to Cocaine Bear. I look forward to seeing you in methamphetamine, alligator, and ecstasy, emu, and oh, let's go with um, codeine, cobra. That's a whole series for you. Like, you can keep coming for these. Just have me more interesting material, if you don't mind. Thanks. The drug dealers and missing kid plot and a park ranger trying to get herself laid, which is kind of funny. She's actually one of the few immediate parts. Michael... Oh, who... I forgot who this actor's name again is. This is the second time I record this because my OBS has not been wanting to behave. I forgot his name then. I forgot it again. I did not take the opportunity to look up the actor's name. I am a professional operation here. Anyways, is a name actor. It's like one of his last films, and he goes out in a pretty amusing way. Like, getting got by the cocaine bears, pretty good thing to have on the end of your resume for your long story career. At least I think so. Like, if um, Orson Welles got devoured by a whale or something in his last movie, we talk about that. He did play Unicron as his last thing, like playing a giant evil, a giant planet whereby they eat other planets. Pretty good note to go out on, honestly, if I must say so myself. Anywho, Cocaine Bear. Uh, it's not worth the theater. When you go to streaming, when you're watching it at home, or however you want to ingest this film, you want to steal it? Not my problem. You'll have the advantage of the skip button. You'll have the advantage of your cell phone, which you can go on Twitter and look at porn at during the boring parts. Everything involving the cocaine bears? Great. Good. Everything else? Uh, 
I saw this in the theater. I get to say I saw Cocaine Bear on the big screen. I can also say I saw Joe's apartment in the theater. Yeah. That's a, that's a cross I get to bear to my grave. <laughs> I'm a skeleton. So, yeah. Watch this at home. You have access to the toilet. You can walk off, walk out, and do, uh, do other things while you're waiting for the cocaine bitter to turn back up. You can look at porn on Twitter. You can porn anywhere, honestly. Porn's everywhere. You can look at me. I'm porn. I'm all porn. Everything is porn. You're porn. I'm porn. Everything is porn. All thoughts are porn. There's probably cocaine bear porn by this point. I'm not going to look for it. Like, don't make me, don't let me stop you. I know it's around. Like, any straight thought had becomes porn. If you con- if you conceptualize something, someone's going to put their dick in it or broad pussy on it or give it big titties. Doesn't matter what it is. It can be a thought. You can be thinking about a nice sandwich, and now there's porn of that sandwich. You're welcome. I got paid to draw that shit. Anyways, uh, I'm going to go watch another Animal Attack movie or something like that. I will say before I leave, there is a bit of... This actually is kind of a true story sort of film in that the actual history of this thing is covered in the first five minutes and then we go completely to the fantasy side of things. Because there was, in the 80s, a drug dealer policeman guy who stole a bunch of... who had a bunch of cocaine, threw it out of an airplane, he jumped out of the airplane and his chute did not open... He goes splat, and his cocaine got found by a bear. The bear ate the cocaine, and much like lightning does to anything that hits gets struck by lightning, what usually happens to an animal when it eats a bunch of cocaine all at once happened here. The bear died, and it is taxidermied and stuffed, and you can go see it in a gift shop in Kentucky. I'm not kidding about that. Everything else that happened after, happened past that part, all fantasy. So... The, co- the bear doesn't die, it becomes, it transcends and becomes the cocaine bear. And it eats a bunch of people. That's your movie. That's your plot. The history is kind of interesting. Honestly, it's a little more interesting than the actual movie. But for clips and streaming and, you know, get drunk and watch it and do something else during the boring parts that don't involve the cocaine bear, you'll be entertained. I am in a wooden house of some kind. It's, it's, it's sketchy, it's cartoony. I should be in black and white for this, or we, I should be an inkblot thing or an Animaniacs type character. I'll work on that later. Toodles. Toot toot. Bye.